Hi everybody, today is January 10th, 2014. Here's some interesting breaking news. I had reported how the vice president of one of the branch of CGI was Michelle Obama's friend. They went to college together. Now get this, $292 million down the drain. White House fires main Obamacare IT contractor. Oh my. Proving that once again, if you want something done wrong and preferably at massive cost overruns, then just leave it to the government. Moments ago, news broke that the main IT contractor behind the embarrassment, that is healthcare.gov, CGI Federal, has been fired. Well, the program they used, they hacked it from another person. Who could possibly foresee this? Well, anyone who had actually done some diligence on the clusterfuck, that is CGI Federal, in which, as WAPRO profiled some time ago, is filled with executives from a company that mishandled at least 20 other government IT projects including a flawed effort to automate retirement benefits for millions of federal workers documents and interviews show this company was actually on the list put up by the Bush administration as one of the few companies that is allowed to do work for the government can you believe that make that 21 a year ago before CGI group acquired AMS in 2004 AMS settled a lawsuit brought by the head of the Federal Retirement Thrift Investment Board which had hired the company to upgrade the agency computer system AMS which is now CGI had gone 60 million dollars over budget and virtually all of the computer code it wrote turned out to be useless according to a report by the US Senate Committee sounds like the perfect people to hire in order to make a complete disaster out of the Obamacare portal almost as if by design but the best news Obama's little trice with CGI federal costs US taxpayers only 292 million as Vanity Fair revealed recently according to congressional testimony CGI stands to be paid 292 million for its work on healthcare.gov and since CGI replacement well, eventually redo everything from scratch. This is 192 million that Obama may have well burned. We just. But the incest between the Obama administration and CGI will one day be probed. According to recent revelations, the ties run deep. The lack of experience explains why in building healthcare.gov the government turned to industry contractors, in particular to CGI Federal, a subsidiary of CGI Group, a Canadian company. To those uninitiated to the dark art of government contracting, it seems scandalous that CGI, a company most Americans had never heard of, a company that is not located in Silicon Valley, where President Obama had plenty of internet superstar friends who could have formed a dazzling brain trust to implement his signature legislation, but rather in Montreal, could be chosen as the lead contractor for the administration's most important initiative. While right-wing news outlets have focused on the possible relationship between Tony Townies Whitley, Senior Vice President for Civilian Agency Programs at CGI Federal, and Michelle Obama, both of whom were 1985 Princeton graduates. CGI's selection is probably more an example of a dysfunctional system than it is a scandal. More than a scandal, if it walks like a duck and talks like a duck, I think it's a duck. A lot of companies in Silicon Valley don't do business with the government at that level, the level required for federal contracting, explained Shalloway. It is very burdensome and the rules make it very unattractive. Indeed, government contractors have to meet a whole host of requirements contained in a foot thick book, including cost accounting and excessive auditing, to prove that they are not profiting too much off the American taxpayer. Hence, there tends to be a relatively small specialized group of companies that compete for this work, even on such critical matters as healthcare.gov. Like I said, there's less than 20 and they were put into a list during the Bush administration. Actually, it is a scandal. It is a bigger scandal than at least $292 million in taxpayer cash that was literally flushed down the drain. And all we have to show for it is a website that crashes when the seemingly impossible happens. What do you expect? They hacked the program. It's not there. They stole it. They pirated it. And more than a few hundred people try to log in at the same time. Then again, perhaps, since it's no longer 1993, um, I think it's 1984, right? Big Brother. 
someone in the administration should take responsibility for this or maybe it was just Bush's fault again and it snowed in December. Keep in mind CGI's coding disaster was so epic there was actually a flowchart indicating just how many errors in healthcare.gov there are. Step one, the problem. Step two, the problem. Step three, the problem. Step four, etc., etc., etc. So with CGI out of the picture, who will take over administration of the Obamacare portal? WellPro has the answer. Federal health officials are preparing to sign a 12-month contract worth roughly $90 million with a different company. Accenture, after concluding that CGI has not been effective enough in fixing the intricate computer system, underpinning the federal website healthcare.gov, the individual said. And this peril, because of the time constraints, CMS is awarding the Accenture contract on a sole source basis, according to the person familiar with the decision. So is that what kickbacks to Michelle Obama are called now? We can be sure of one thing, this replacement will be even more epic of a disaster and will ultimately result in over a billion taxpayer dollars being spent on a program that was doomed to fail from the beginning regardless. Remember how Obama said it wouldn't cost us a single dollar? It says here Accenture, which is one of the world's largest consulting firm, has extensive experience with computer systems on the state level and it built California's new health industry exchange but it has not done substantial work on any federal health care program. There is a small chance Accenture won't be as much of a debacle as CGI. Keep in mind that the government is very familiar with the consulting company's skills. After all, the DOJ itself sued it. The decision to turn to Accenture puts the project in the hands of a government contractor that has significant technology experience but also signed a high profile legal settlement with the Justice Department less than three years ago over its contracting practices. Maybe that's how they're going to get their money back by employing them, right? Accenture had one contracting dispute with the federal government that ended up in court, agreeing in September of 2011 to pay $63 million to settle a Justice Department lawsuit, alleging that it had improperly benefited from recommending specific hardware and software as part of government contracts as well as inflating prices on contracts and disordering the federal bidding process. In retrospect, who are we kidding? Accenture is certainly the best replacement to CGI. If the intention is to keep bleeding the government's taxpayer funded coffers dry, then why not? If said coffers run out of money, the Fed can just print some more, which as it turns out is the end game as we reported earlier. Jeffrey Lacker explicitly said that the Fed is now looking at the impact on the economy from Obamacare or else QE5, not to be confused with QED. Like I said, they have so few that have been approved to work for the government and this one got in trouble for fraud. Maybe they fear it's the only way they're going to get their money from this company. Maybe they're on the verge of going belly up so they decided to put them to work, right? Or maybe this time it's Obama that has friends in the center and not Michelle Obama. We'll see. All right, bookmark my site. I'll keep you up to date. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.